the COVID-19 pandemic is reminding us once again that mental health is just as important as physical health. As the economic and social impacts of the pandemic expand, we can expect to see a rise in mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, and substance use disorders. Frontline health workers faced with heavy workloads, life or death decisions, and risk of infection are particularly affected. So are children and adolescents whose daily routines have been completely disrupted. Older people, particularly those living alone, are at risk of social isolation. This is to say nothing of the situation in settings where poverty levels are high and physical distancing is complicated, if not impossible. If ever there was a time to invest in mental health, it's now. Although 30% of years lived with disability are caused by mental health conditions, just 2% of government health budgets are for mental health. Fortunately, it's not too late to redress the balance. Support for mental health must be integrated into every component of national responses to COVID-19. We must use this opportunity to build mental health services that are fit for the future, inclusive, community-based, and affordable. Because ultimately, there is no health without mental health.